Hello all of you lovely violinists out there. My name is Jinty and I'm one of the violinists in Atlas. So today I want to kind of continue on with my scale series. Um, a couple weeks ago I did a video on how to practice in the Galamian style, your scales. And last time I also talked about uh, fingerings that you can use um, to you know, set yourself up well for your scale practice. And this week I'm going to give you some tips on how to best practice your scales to learn them quicker and in less time because that's what we all want, right? My old teacher used to say, hard work is a job badly done. Think about it. That's what we want to do. Less work and greater results always. All right, so the first thing I like to do before I even start playing is kind of create a mental checklist of one to two things that I wanna think about each time I put the bow on the string. So you wanna keep it small, like one or two things so that you don't overwhelm yourself and you can more easily build these good habits and get rid of the bad ones. So the first thing that I like to think about, it would definitely be my sound. As I mentioned in my video, three octave violin scales to elevate your technique. I always start with just two notes per bow, sometimes even one if, if I'm really feeling like I just need to center that day. Um, but what I really work on is creating a full big sound and I do that by taking my bow and making sure it's not completely turned away from me. I need to use my thumb to roll it up. Not my wrist, just my thumb. And make sure that all of the hairs are hitting on the string. So here's a difference you can hear. Without all hairs, and this is with the full hat hair, full power. Do you hear the difference there? It's like, whoa, a huge, huge impact. So that's the first thing I like to think about. So the next thing you want to think about, you've got a good sound, now it's time to move on to consistency. Now the first step in consistency is making sure you're playing with the same fingering each time. And if you're looking for a good fingering, I've actually included my free scale guide below. Just click on the link in the caption and it will take you right there. The next part of consistency that you wanna think about is your intonation. Having trouble with a specific shift in a scale? Just focus on that shift rather than playing the scale over and over again. And never adjust the pitch once you do a shift because that's essentially practicing shifting to the wrong note over and over again. Always analyze if you're high or low on the note. Then lift your fingers off the fingerboard and try again. And once you've got the shift, repeat it a few times to make sure that you've got it completely locked in. So after you've got all of your shifts sound, all of your notes are in tune, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is evenness. As your notes get faster and faster, we're moving up that Galamian progression, you wanna make sure that every single note is the same length. <laughs> the most important is to relax. My old teacher used to say, be cool as a cucumber. It's so important. So when you're playing, make sure that your left hand isn't grabbing the instrument. You wanna be super, 
super loose, especially your thumb. That's where the problems usually start is in the thumb. So make sure you're super relaxed and loose. No fingers sticking up or bending. Keep everything close to the instrument. And nice and relaxed. It's almost like you're hanging from the fingerboard. And just believe in yourself. As you get faster and faster, keep your brain cool and collected. And you'll be surprised how fast you can actually play. If you've practiced well, you can do this. And also remember to be patient. It's not possible, humanely, to get everything perfect the first time. It takes patience, it takes hard work, but you can get there. If you keep working patiently and work just a little bit every single day, you're gonna be a scale wizard in no time. And those are my tips for practicing your scales. You can do it. Um, don't forget to grab your free scale guide below and hit those like notification and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time on Atlas Tutorials. Bye.